Hello everyone. Lock and Key, new series from Netflix, is essentially a teen fantasy drama. It's nothing remarkable. In fact, it's hampered with cliches and slow story progression. However, it's presented well. Eye-catching cinematography, pop songs, and a whimsical jingle might just be enough for a distraction. After a traumatic experience, the Locke family moved into their ancestral mansion called the Key House. This family of three children and a single mother will find magical keys in this old house and navigate their ways through the intricate daily life of a small harbor town while discovering its dark secrets. If all of these themes sound familiar, it's because they are nothing new. Lock and Key borrows many aspects from fantasy, drama, and even horror series. Most likely, you have seen the Whispering Old House before, the new kids on their first day at school, and their teen romance on small town. The magical device used and abused by kids without adult supervision, and the list goes on. It's not just similar premise, but for each aspect it uses, it bears heavy resemblance to other series, which unfortunately have done it better. Umbrella Academy did better fantasy. Dark sci-fi series from German did better mystery and teen drama. As for thriller set in small town, Brothers or Watchmen would be a better choice. Lock and Key takes the safe route with vanilla fantasy tropes. On many occasions, the characters feel like they are going through the motion from one fantasy plot to the next. Aside from a couple of decent characters, nearly everyone will react in painfully predictable manner. They might as well wear a name tag with their supposed character stereotype like the bully, the joke, or the outsider. This sadly applies to the main characters, the children of Locke family, who we will spend majority of the runtime with. The little boy is the primary vehicle for most magical occurrences. Seeing something extraordinary from a child's perspective can be intriguing. Unfortunately, his role is mostly to yell exposition, shout a few lines in disbelief while trying to prove he's not a child anymore. The two teenager characters will go through bland identical subplots, sometimes on the same episode, so audience can see similar scene but done twice. They will argue about magic, friendship, and whatever problem the episode's new mythical device will bring. The series wants to present the guilt or trauma this family endures, but it doesn't always hit the mark. Out of everyone, the mother shows more convincing sorrow and the loss of loved one but her part is kept to a minimum. One of the antagonists has a good approach on teen anxiety and trust issue, although another villain, which is more one-dimensional, will get significantly more screen time. Most episodes would see the characters go through identical subplots and make dumb decisions. It's completely understandable for children to be fallible to mistake, but it becomes dull if the show needs them to the silly antics as a means to progress the story. This routine continues until something crucial happens, which means audience needs to invest many hours before the mystery becomes even remotely interesting. And even then, it doesn't have compelling twists, and some of the mystery elements become overly complex or tedious. Still, Lock and Key is not entirely terrible. The visual looks gorgeous. It knows how to make full use of the scenery. It showcases beautiful environment, especially on the first few episodes. The small town and boarding school atmosphere invoke a hint of nostalgia, while the big mansion offers a mysterious adventure vibe. Even in simple scenes, the series has good grasp of camera angle to add more dramatic flair. A couple of set pieces have bright colored or vibrant look, which suit its signature magical theme. Add the whimsical jingle and some catchy songs, Lock and Key isn't half bad in terms of presentation, even though some of the special effects like the fire or ghostly apparition definitely seem outdated. However, it simply doesn't have any strong point that can put it in front of the pack. It has the key gimmick, but even then it can be too convoluted. So despite the glossy presentation and a few tricks behind the doors, the slow pacing makes it a large time investment for the audience. 
After the novelty and glitter wear off, it's an average series with plotted drama, and none of its fantasy or mystery element truly stands out. For that, I'll give Lock and Key a 5 out of 10. Considering it also takes hefty amount of time investment, there are simply other series that perform significantly better. Thank you for watching, please leave a like and comment, consider subscribing and share with your friends. I make three videos every week, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.